Hey, hey. What's up? Figured I'd do something a bit different this time. See if this game will even load. Oh, it does load. Oh my god. So I recently discovered a hard drive that I had from years ago. Back in uh, high school that had this game on it. So I thought, you know what? I'll bring it back in and see if my levels are still here. I don't know if they are. Basically, if you don't know what Armadillo Run is, uh, let me just make sure the audio is coming through. Okay, so basically what this game is, it's like a physics game where uh, you have to try and get the Armadillo. Let's see if I can... Can I turn off that and turn it back on? Yeah, so... You have to get this armadillo to the end portal uh, by means of building and constructing methods to get there. Now I haven't played this game for so long. Like last time I played it was probably about ten years ago, and I don't know if the levels I made in high school are still on this or not. But I guess we'll find out. So yeah, it's a whole bunch of like forces and sort of intakes that you've got to learn, like these metal bars, metal poles, rockets, a bit of carpet, some string, elastic, rope, and you like construct a bridge sort of thing to get the armadillo there. So I don't know if my oh okay. So should we just do the introduction? All right, we'll do the introduction first, and then. I'll show you my levels if they're on here. So Armadillo is lost in another dimension, help her return home by guiding through a series of portals. The objective is to get the Armadillo to the portal, this blue spot. To, need the, uh, to do this you need to build some sort of structure for the Armadillo to land on. So you hit play, lands in the portal, and he gets teleported through. And there's a whole bunch of different sort of schematics that you uh, learn to play with. So components, uh, so yeah, there's end joints, which are these, they're nodes. Um, the, oh, special nodes or anchor points, and these are like where they're attached to. So these are normal nodes, these are anchor points. And you can utilize that to like try and get your way to the end port. See like did a little kick to the armadillo and that just flicked him into the portal plus it also blocked him off so you get it it's not overly complicated but it does definitely get complicated so if I hit play here he'll just fall straight through that so what I need to do is grab a metal sheet and put that there and that'll get him to the end And like some of the, I remember in high school you could, there's like a website the way you could download other people's levels and stuff. And I was like, shit man, I, I want to make my own levels to do that sort of thing. Because that'd be, that'd be freaking fun. So I have to put a bar there. And so I think I uploaded like 10 or 15 levels of just random things. And you can definitely see as the game progresses that I start to learn more about the game and like tweak physics in a way that they probably shouldn't be tweaked. I remember a couple uh, levels where I kind of uh, broke the physics of the game. <laughs> but it was fun. Very good pastime waster. So we just put the cloth there uh, now we got rope, so I I'd imagine we have to put rope here and here. We could put one there too, but why why bother? There's no need. So you can like skimp out on things if you think they don't need it. All right, tension. 
this is the tension bar where we can like increase tension to like a hundred and that'll break obviously or we can do like five percent and that won't do anything so you gotta like meet in the middle sort of thing sort out how much is enough all right next thing is timers so this this is negative tension it's a rubber piece so um if when that's to break in three seconds that should spring out and launch it upwards just like that and you can also have the rubber shrink in instead which is in some of my levels that i made a while ago Rockets, okay, so rockets are a fun thing. You can just put them anywhere. I can't remember how to zoom out. Oh, that's it. They just just go outside the map. So let's try putting one there. Okay, okay. Well, that didn't work. About, oh, I can put one in between there. Trying to remember the buttons to like move stuff. I think control is the main one. So editing tips. I think this is just right here, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, once it's running, you can't edit the level. You have to hit stop to change what needs to be done. All right. And lastly, there's a budget. The amount of money that you can spend on things. So, let's just, what happens if I do that, that, and that? So that keeps up. And if we go, get a cloth here, get a cloth there, and metal bar in between for it to land in. Safe and snug. Okay, so that's too big. So we just make that a bit smaller. And it should be right. A little catch. Alright, so that is the tutorial done. Now there's all these normal levels. There's like 50 or something. And there's these hidden levels. And then comes to like downloaded levels. Which you can like try and sort like try and complete but it's a, like all these are my old downloaded levels so I can't remember what I called oh I think that's one of my levels I created but maybe that'll come down uh in here like beginners just learn Where's the steel pickup? That's one I made. Coal pit. Another one I made. So I didn't name them. Oh, here we go. So these are my levels. You can see they're very basic at the moment. Don't know what I need to do here. But I have $10 to spend to try and get this to work. Okay, it turns out I don't need to do anything. So that one was easy. Level 2. So you can sort of see like where I'm at now, like... Uh, just learning the mechanics of it all. Wow, this is so... So long ago. So he's stuck in this chamber. goes down here will it make it no it won't all right so I have to do something here I don't know what 
I can see if I do that. That does nothing. About that. Let's give it like a bit more of a ramp or something. Try and get it through. Oh, it's slowly going. Will it make it? No, it's kicking back. Damn. Alright, so what happens if we do this? See if that gives it just that little bit more angle to slide down. God, I can't remember. I can't remember how I got through this normally. Slide, damn it. Go. Go. That's not gonna make it. Alright, so let's clear all that. Let's just do something crazy like that. See what that does. Because, like, this gives it a bit more angle. It's this spot where I get stuck on. Slide. Go. 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 Yes. 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 Oh. oh my god, it made it. Did it make it? Maybe it's outside. No, it's outside. Alright. So, let's try something a bit different. Let's try and break this open. Does nothing. It's on the wrong angle. Uh, don't know if that'll make it work or not. I mean, it flipped it. This is going to be a lot harder than what I thought. Um, what can I do here? Try and break this open. I mean, if I do that, I'll just see what happens here. I want to get past level two that I created. Oh, slide, go, 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 go. Come on. Yes. Problem is it flips over here. I didn't even go, damn it. Alright. What happens if I just do that? It's probably going to break. But we'll, we'll wait and see. This is such a trip down memory lane, man. Slide. Go. Go. Oh. Alright, what am I doing wrong here? What am I doing wrong? How can I break this apart? I mean, maybe if I do something like that, that might, that might do something. I don't know, it's been so long. Like, maybe the drop here will cause it to break open or something. I 
mean, it is moving a good bit. Keep going. Damn it. Uh, let's just see what that does. I have no idea. This is the level I made when I was first starting out. Great. Um, Alright, so what happens if I... Can't do that. Alright, let's, let's try and break this open again. From what I remember, there is a way to break this open, but I can't remember how. Oh, the audio is so good, not. Break. Okay, no breakage. It is moving. And it's right here, it's right at this spot. But I don't know how to fix that. Maybe if I, like, do that. I think if I put a bar there, it just won't, won't matter. Oh, alright, we'll see what happens here. Go, 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 go. Why, damn it. No. Alright, so the problem here is that there's a weight that needs to be there, I think. When, like, it flips over coming down this ramp. Because then that way is facing forward. Unless that stops it from flipping. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. Okay. Okay, it broke. Can we stretch this out like something crazy? I don't know. And I didn't want this to be a long stream. I'm stuck on level two. What I made years ago. I wanted to show you what I made. Okay. Excellent. That works. So now we go. I think carpet might be better. No, negative two. Will that break, is the question. Can I catch the ball? Okay. That's alright, we're learning. We can get rid of this because that doesn't do anything. And now we have more money. So if we put a barrier here... The rope goes there. I should stop it, yes. Maybe. It's not the cheapest way, but maybe it'll work. Hey, hey, hey. there we go. Alright, round two done. 
I know most of these maps that I made, you don't have to do much. Like, I started off making maps that, where you had to, uh, get it somewhere, but I know later on I sort of changed that idea a bit, so it was like Rube Goldberg machine style. Oh, nearly. Right, so if we change the angle of the rocket, should make it so it lands nearly over here. Excellent. That's perfect. Now we can zoom up here. We go. That. Oh. That. That should catch it. Beautiful. Man, I tell you what, playing these games, this game, hey, this is the first one where you don't have to do anything. So here I started like getting a bit of experience and trying to work out the uh, el elastics. Right. So if I put a bar there, will that time it? No, it won't. That's okay because if I could just like skip this entire thing, can't I? Just by doing that. Perfect. So yeah, there's just, like these anchor points offer you a position to like follow the pathing. You can always break the pathing, which is what I liked about this game. Ooh, All right, that's easily doable. Just put another piece there. Bam bam, thank you ma'am. So what's that one? Five? We're up to six now. Oh. This was just a mess around then. I was trying to like, see if I could drop it in the point of the map so it would still teleport and you don't have to actually do anything for it. And it turns out you can. Alright, number seven. It rolls down there, hit in between them, so if I put like cloth here, that might make it bounce all the way. Oh, nearly. Another piece of cloth there, and then uh, another bit of cloth there. Should do it. So these first maps look really stupid. I know they do. And I'm not proud of these ones, but I'm proud of the ones that I did later on. I did. I thought I did 10. I did 41 levels. Okay. So you can tell I played quite a bit of this game. To do 41 levels. It's this one. This is where I learned like a conveyor belt system for the first time. It's a little bit ratty. But they do improve as the levels go on. So are you going to like go through the hole? Oh no, wait, this one takes forever from what I remember. Okay, maybe not that much. Uh, pfft, okay. And it eats it off. So, how does one stop? 
something like that from happening. What's that do? Okay, so I basically need to hold it here somehow. Without letting it get through. I just want to do that. I need more weight behind this. That's the problem. What's that do? Oh. Okay, so if I extend this here, extend this like over here. Okay, well, that doesn't work. Right, it's catching on here and breaking, so... That's perfect. Okay, now I just have to make a basket down here. To grab it. There we go. What, it was about here? Like, drag this over here, stretch that out there. There's a little bar in here for it to fall into. We'll do the same thing on that side. We have to support this somehow. Probably by like that one and that. That's gonna swing, isn't it? Yeah. So, oh wait, there's one here. Oh, okay. What does that do? Oh, have I got it? Might have it already. If I press F, it'll show you all the forces on the equipment. Hell yeah, I got it. Sick. Alright, number nine. I mean, this one's pretty easy, really. Just do that and that. <laughs> what was I thinking? Would have been more challenging if there were no anchor points there. Oh, this is my first break of physics in this game. I remember this little thing. So, what happens if I just do that? Okay, still breaks. So, what this is, is there's like a tiny bit of metal in between these two metals, and it's forcing it to push against the side, which is what's making it rotate. And I think from this one onwards, it gets a bit more... Uh, chaotic. Alright, um, let's just try that. If it breaks the first one, it'll land in the second one. Hopefully. Okay, so it broke the first one, and it's stuck just outside the portal. Okay. So, what happens if I just do that? Will that get it through? Kind of works. See what happens when it settles down. Alright, so it's not going to be in the portal, so I'll do that. That won't help. Um, huh. Got cloth there to push it in, maybe? It? Yes. Oh my god. Perfect. 
and now here I start I start working out domino uh, the physic effect. Wait, do I not have to do anything on this one? Oh, wow. Okay. So it was a free free learning lesson to like try and work out how these things are spinning. Where's this one? Why are there so many times? Alright, so it's stuck in prison. It's just sliding down this path. Is that like it meant to be an elevator of some sort? <laughs> okay, I didn't have to do anything. Well, that was easy. I think these were just testing things. Boom. 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 And we build a little net to catch it in. Alright. So a net I can do. Net's pretty easy. Let's go boom, boom. Boom. And then... Boom, boom. Maybe that'll work, maybe it won't. Okay, so... All of this needs to be moved over a bit, so... Let's see what that does. It might roll over. Okay, we caught it. It's not in. It's not in by how much? The tiniest amount. Okay. So. way we can fix this is by... Getting rid of that. Let's just drag it down a bit. So it has something to land in. is not going to be affected by those metal bits. Maybe that'll catch it, maybe it won't. Hey, there we go. I didn't think there were 41 of these levels. We're up to 14. We have 180. I mean, could just bam 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 we'll see what happens I guess see if it even lands in it And I really do like this game. It's been a long time since I've played this. Oh, fall in. Yes. Okay. Does it slide the whole way? It'll tip over and roll out. Oh. Okay. So that can be fixed with just a rope. Okay, no it can't. So if I put that there, that's going to pull on everything else. Hmm. Let's try carpet instead, see what happens. I try to remember how to go frame by frame in this, but I can't. I can't remember. Maybe it has to be paused before. No. Alright. Will the ball or the armadillo pop into this area? Come on. Yes, it will. 
car, but it's strong enough. Let's go. Alright, 15. I don't remember this level at all. I'm learning my elasticity stuff. Ooh. close. Right, what happens if we do that and uh, let's try and rope this down to there and that down to there. See what that does. Boom, boom, boom. It's kind of like a, the start of like the Rube Goldberg kind of machine. And four, don't hit it out. Oh, right on the edge. That's all right. We got through. Holy hell! Yeah, my younger brain. Oh yes, this is one I don't have to do anything. So you know those spinny things made of metal? I realised that rubber would be better to make those. So that's what I did. And just because I have so much money, I'll show you what these, how these are basically made. So you put one piece there, then you do a tiny piece, then you bring it back to that. And then off this axis, or this axis, you put a bar in between, and that causes it to spin. But, from what I remember, I don't have to do anything on this map. So this is where the start of the whole Rube Goldberg sort of equivalent comes in. You can see how much these guys are under force. Wait. Oh. I'm going to have to stop it. He rides up in the rocket. He goes all the way there, falls out, rolls back down this chute, rolls all the way along. Little bump off some things. These are like little spring loaded things under pressure using the anchor points. And locked in safely. <laughs> when I first built that map, I was like, yes! I did it. Okay, now we get out of hand. So, Armadillo starts way up here. And it has to get to here. And if I remember correctly, this one takes quite a while to do. We'll just see what happens. People that are going to tune in now are going to be like, what the hell am I watching? I was like, I like the whole idea of like a Rube Goldberg style machine where it uses multiple of the same ones as well to send it on trajectories. This might have taken me like a whole hour of class lesson to utilize because I'd have to keep pausing to make sure it hit the right spot and all that sort of stuff. Alright, we're down here. So these things are under pressure because these anchor points are pushing that rubber down, which causes these to uh, become spring-like. That's what that do 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 noise is. Oh, this one's gonna go high. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See? 
utilize that to come back down. It flicks over this side, bouncing there. Oh, cleared it. No way. How's this make it to the end? Oh, he uses that again. It's nice. Reusability. And it's hitting this little bit of rubber here, which is slowing its uh, speed down a bit. Oh, I thought it was going in then. So yeah, we're up to two minutes already on this. I can't remember how long it takes. Goes through this a little bit. It's gonna go flying. Oh, not yet. Maybe next time. That reached a fairly decent height. So next time it must go higher. That's about the same. Am I stuck in a loop here? What's going on? Oh. Will we get out? Okay, that went somewhere different. Okay, cool. We're back over here. I like how that one just flung that bit of rubber out. That's awesome. Oh, get to the end already. Yes, yes. Alright, cool. Right there. Boop, boop. So that took nearly five minutes. <laughs> or no, four minutes. Is this one? It's trapped inside. Oh, okay. Just goes flying up. Oh no! How many of these are there? It's probably a heap. I remember doing like four or five of these. So. Oh, cleared it. Hell yeah. Straight. Oh, I thought it was going straight through. Oh no, there's no ending. Which means I have to go back and watch it. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't last too long. So. Let's build. Just to make sure it'll go. Just do that. And that should work. Surely. I don't know, man. It's been, what, 15 years? Nearly. It's funny because you can fi still find my maps on their website. Back from high school days. Ooh. I love how it goes over and then back over. That's cool. Alright, cool. We made it. So where are we at now? We're at 20. We're halfway through. Halfway through. This was a good one. I remember this one. This this one definitely took me like two classes to get right to make it look nice. 
all it is is the same sort of concept, flying back and forth. Pew, 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 pew. Yeet, yeet, yeet. And then it gets locked in place. Like, you ain't going nowhere. God, how many of these are there? Oh, this one looks painful. Let's do something different. Let's look at all the forces put on the rubber bits. This guy down here is going crazy with his forces. funny because it doesn't look like there's a pattern or anything to it, but there is. Because it took me so long to try and get all these to hit at the right point in time and miss and all that sort of stuff. I think this breaks after a while. Can't remember when. Whoa! Look at that air time. Shung. Shung. Oh, straight through those two. Clean. I was wondering what this one was doing all the way out here. I don't know how long these levels go for. <laughs> Hey, it did break. Cool. Oh, hit it so hard it broke. Oh! The break helped it. That little bit knocked it back onto there. Roll in, damn it. Is this it? No. That's it. And a bit over two minutes. Nothing too crazy. I'm pretty sure it hit every single one of them. Oh, this one was fun. Oh man, flashbacks. <laughs> I remember thinking, I want to do something like a train. And this was my first concept. Just a bunch of rockets, launch it up, nothing too crazy. Launch to there, launch to there, backspin, onto this, rocket bridge. Let's put in this train capsule, or rocket capsule, I guess. It's taken up. Elevated. And it just goes, yeet. Yeah. I like how it gets caught on the edge, too, there. Like, this is it. This is where we're stopping. Okay, I don't remember this one. It's obviously a pulley of some sort. If I look at the force, yeah. Wait, what? So this serves no purpose, really. Look how fast it's moving though. I wonder if it breaks or not. It's building up quite a bit of force. It's a bet I hit it or something, and that just shatters it. Right, so we're up here. We go down this jump. Don't know what these two things are doing. Alright, going back up. Oh, well, we are gonna. Oh, I thought 
thought we were going to hit it. Apparently not. What are we doing? We're stuck. What broke? I didn't see what broke. slowly moving. Wow, that's, that's pretty good control for a rocket. And I'm surprised this hasn't broke. Look at the forces on it. Come on. Uh, yeah, I bet you this hits it. Hundred percent it hits it. There it is. And it just shatters. Oh and it reuses the ramp. That's sick. This this did nothing. Why is that even there? What the hell is that? I don't know. I was young and stupid. Ooh. This is my take of an elevator, I believe. I remember correctly. That should stay there when I start it. Yeah. One, two, three hits off that one. Four hits off this one. Let's see if it does any more. Uh oh. We might be stuck. Oh no, we're getting a bit further. This might shoot us out. Here it is. Do we get a fifth one off this? No. But we are stuck back here. Two more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the double roof. I love the reusability on this. In the elevator, down we go. Then that little rubber thing just holds it in place. And once it's gone, it's like, alright, I'm gonna keep spinning. <laughs> What is this contraption? I have no money, so don't need to do anything. Whoa! It's all right, we're going up. Well, that wasn't very majestic. I guess it was like jumping over a volcano or something. Okay, again, no money. I don't need to do anything. Got a rocket hanging out there. Alright, this one might do it. No, we're moving too fast. So I've had two attempts <coughs> of the portal. Will this one do it? No, not yet. This one will though. For sure, I'm moving slower. Again, no money. Whoa! Hell yeah. Oh man. I 
reckon if those rubber pieces weren't there, I wouldn't get through. That is some five head stuff right there. What the hell? I have to watch that again just to make sure. So, yeah, without this rubber piece here, it would have just sat below the portal. But I made it, so... <laughs> somehow that got jammed in there and pushed me into the portal. That's freaking awesome. Alright, no money again. So this is like the Rube Goldberg side of things. He's in a, in a lawn chair. Going up. I don't know what that is. Okay. Right. Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh my god, I actually have to do something this time. You, okay. How do I stop this? Wait, what happens if I put something above it? Okay, on more of an angle maybe? Bruh. That's nearly perfect. much. Too much. Way too much. What the hell? Let's try that. Okay. Let's try that. Uh, let's try that. Okay. So it definitely has to have that little flick there. Oh, it's nearly perfect. Where's that land? Oh, okay. I might be able to do something with this. So what happens if I just... Let's put that there. Okay, so that won't work. Um, let's try... Metal bar, metal bar. I mean, metal, metal bar. That there, that there, that there. I might drop it straight in. Or straight below. Okay. Well, it will. It just needs some more strength put behind it. Okay. Nearly. Rope. Rope. So this needs to be further out. Let's try both ends. Okay, perfect. And now... Uh, what do I do? Probably a cloth thing, right? So if I grab that and that... And what? I kind of need to keep it open somehow. So that'd be like that. And if we put like a metal, I mean carpet there, and then rope up to there and there. Okay, so that won't work. Try there as well bit more support. Alright, so that's gonna snap. So if we put rope there. Beautiful. I wonder if I can del just delete that fully. Probably not. That needs to stay there. I could probably get rid of that one. Um, 
Beautiful. What happens if we get rid of all that all together? Okay, so we need the bars across here. I mean, it still collapses either way, doesn't it? So, need that support there. Keep it going. But we got it, so I'll take it. Okay. Ah, uh, this one was fun. This is where I was like playing with dominoes. And I just learnt to copy and paste things in my world. So I just copied the same bouncy thing over and over again. As well as these dominoes. These just stack. Perfect. It looks like a cloud. A happy cloud. Don't know why, but that's just what I see. Like a Super Mario cloud or something. <laughs> Once it hits over near the edge, which I don't remember. Well, I have no money, so I can't do anything. So I guess I will. Um, all those loose bits of rubber will get knocked and fall like dominoes. Which means I think the level after this is my... Uh, uh, what do you call it? My introduction to dominoes. This is cool, you can see like the, um, the level of experience that continues onwards, like it gets progressively better and better. Oh, it just hugs that area. Alright, this has to be it. You, yeah, and just look at all these fall. So that was my introduction to uh, dominoes that I learned. And we're up to what? 31. Yeah, so this is my first domino level that I made. Nothing too crazy. I was curious if, like, the same powered rocket would, uh, or, like, different powered rockets would still keep the same, uh, straight domino thing. Which it will, so. I don't know if I integrated that into later games or not. But, straight in. Nothing exciting about that one, really. Just dominoes. Then I know there's a level coming up that's like, insanely crazy. What's this say? I can't read that. Oh, coal shop. Right. Oh, that's right, I built a truck. I think... Dealers somewhere in all these timers. Oh, there. Maybe. And so we're waiting to fill the truck up with coal or rubber. Which I guess technically has coal in it, so. Little pulley system to fill the truck up, get it to its destination. Do we really wait until all the bits are in? I guess so. Alright. All the bits are in. Truck's on its way. Dropping a bit, a couple bits of coal. I guess this whole truck just breaks. Yeah. <laughs> just disappears. The ends full of coal. I have no money, so it must still work. Yeah, that's right. I get stuck here, and then this, like a tiny piece of rubber, just touches me, and I fall through. I remember this. Watch. I'll get stuck here on the edge. And then this little bit of rubber that's coming here just slightly tap me and I fall through. <laughs> oh man. I wish I had like timestamps of when I made these levels because it was so long ago.
Ooh, more dominoes. Same with a lot of cloth. Man, that's cool. Oh, we're nearly done. I know one level that I made that goes for like five minutes, so that's gonna be killer. What is this? I guess I wanted to like just launch stuff into the air. Wait, what? Oh my god. That was pretty lame. This is the one that goes forever. This is where I went crazy with my dominoes. This has nothing to do with the track, but it's just a bunch of rockets going around in a circle. And a little spinny thing to make it look cool. I can't even remember where we start. Oh, it's down here. A tiny bit of cloth. Oop. This is where I was like trying to instigate like different pathways in the same way of dominoes. And I've kind of, I've worked out how to do it. It's like you gotta, at the end of these rubber ones, when you switch to the bars, you have to have a, be a piece of iron bar on the end there to like make it hit the bar. Otherwise it won't hit it, so. Oh, that came close to hitting that. Going back up. Need a little bit of rubber on the iron bar there. Just to keep it going. Pretty sure I copied and pasted all this, so it constantly gets stuck like that on the way down. Yeah. Yeah, that's rough. Stupid young teenage me. Yeah, it's pretty. Bong, 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 bong. Right, we're down the bottom here. Climbing back up to go back down to go back up. So we're currently at two minutes into this. Alright, we're on the home stretch, all the way up. Right there. No, it wasn't. It wasn't actually five minutes. It was three minutes and twenty seconds. It certainly felt like five minutes though. What the hell is this? 
And I love the. Oh, I don't know what that is up in the corner. Oh, I love these bouncy things. What the hell? It's a rubber flying everywhere. Oh, this is gonna get yeeted. Yeet. Does it land on it again? Oh, oh. Thought it might have. Yay, we made it. Wait, what? No way. I'm out by the tiniest amount. Alright, so, let's just, I don't know, do that, okay, well that doesn't help, um, can I put like a second layer here without it messing up? See what happens there. Flung. It's a rubber flying everywhere. Does that work? Yes, it works. Okay. Cool. Oh, oh my god. This is this is a fun one. Where the hell's the armadillo? I don't even see where it's at. Wait, the portal oh yeah, that's right, the portal's there. Uh, I don't know where the armadillo is. Oh, it's in there. Okay. And these aren't attached to anything. Oh, those rockets are so loud. Round and down. Straight past the portal. Ship capsule. We'll drop there to get it on track. Oh my god, the rockets are so loud. Another little drop here to just boink it back on its way. Now, where's it go? Chung. Try to get some air. And down it goes. <laughs> that was a fun one. Fun little one I made. Oh man. We're nearly done. Four more levels. No money, so I don't need to do anything here. Why are the rockets so loud, man? Oh yeah, this was the map where I wanted to like include a little bit of everything. It has every single piece. Timer, tension, all that. Man, I miss this game. Should I play like the proper playthrough of this on stream. I think you might like it. It does get frustrating. 
like when you're playing the proper game. You can't work something out. What's this? So we're already in the portal. We got more bouncy things. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, we're a little bit out on these sides, so... Every time... okay. I'm guessing eventually it'll go through. Yeah. Well, that didn't take long. Alright. Little empty. I like it. We're in a coffee bowl this time. Going up. Boing boing. Take another rocket capsule. Don't know where this one's gonna take me. Probably not that far. Yeah. <laughs> that was pointless. Oh my god. Perfect catch. Perfect catch. Alright, last one. Oh. Oh, this one sucks. What a lame one to end on. So yeah, where's the portal, guys? Turns out we're inside the portal the whole time. Alright, cool. Well, they were my levels that I made back in high school. I'm pretty sure... Let me have a look. Uh, let's load up... See if the web page is actually still available. It is. So, where do we go for new levels? Here we go. Normal level sets, spectator level sets. Let's just go normal. And. If I go down to here, okay, mine aren't there. Maybe mine are in spectacle. Yeah, here we are. I got two stars. <laughs> but yeah, I, I made all these levels in 2008 when I uploaded them all. The day before my birthday, actually, in 2008. That's crazy. Oh, well, it's probably it's probably a day more before because this is American server. Yeah, this is where I got most of my levels from. I wonder if I can sort. So yeah, we do have some spectators. Uh, that are three stars. I'm wondering if there's... No, so they're all like three, three and a bit stars. And they all come, okay, wow, someone made this in 2017? So 2017 was the last one. For normal levels, what about spectator levels? Same thing, 2017. Wow. That's crazy. So it really only died like five years ago. Wow. That's mind boggling. But yeah, this this was uh, Armadillo Run. It's a very fun game. I I love it. Uh how do I go back? To the main thing. So yeah, uh, wait. Lufus's Adams. I don't know what this one is. Should we watch this and see? Classic music. Yeah, so it's the same sort of thing, physics based. It's like a hot dog with legs. <laughs> Oh, 
there's no there's no goal behind this one. I wonder when this came out. Oh shit, it's getting some air. Alright. So, when did this come out? Uh, 2020 was the latest update. Wow. That's crazy. I'd love to get in contact with the uh, creators of Armadillo Run, because I might like it. Let's see. Contact me, send an email to mail at armadillo run. He probably doesn't look at that anymore. This is this is going back. Can I get the game on a CD? That's crazy. <laughs> well, this is a good question. Uh, where is it? All right, cool. Excellent. So we got permission to uh, stream this game. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, guys, that was Armadillo Run. It's one of my favorite games from back in high school. I'd spend hours playing that instead of working. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I played quite a bit of it, and let me know if you want me to do, like, the campaign thing, because I think there's, like, 50 levels in it, from what I remember. But, um, that could be interesting to watch. I love physics and physics-based games, so, uh, just leave a comment or like or whatever, and we'll see where we go from there. But anyways, guys, you have a good one, and I will see you next time. <laughs>